Hey everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. Thank you for joining me in this video because I'm going to talk to you about something that I think you can relate to. And I think it is really, really important. But before I do, let me just say that I just ticked over to like 10,000 subscribers and it took me a little while. I think it's been about two and a half years, but I've been putting my message out there. I've been putting myself out there slowly but surely. And as a result, I have encountered such awesome choice people and I've really had it reaffirmed for me, it, it, to me, that I am not alone. I often tell my students, like, we're the weirdos, you know? People think we're weird because of what we believe and people think we're odd because we set ourselves apart on our spiritual path, but there are others just like us. And so if that's you and you're a subscriber, I just want to say that I'm super happy to make your acquaintance. I am glad that you're here and I, I, I hope that you stick around. And if you haven't subscribed, let's go in. You should subscribe. All right, what I want to talk about today is fear, and I'm going to use my own life to illustrate fear because it always amazes me, truly, how much fear I still have within me. And I've been doing work, spiritual work, for many, many years, like all my life. I've been, I feel like I've been doing the work, getting into the psychology, getting into the patterns, getting into the false beliefs and aligning things and bringing light into, like, I've been doing this for what seems like forever. So it always kind of shocks me when I stumble upon another area where I am harboring fear. And this happened to me last year because my husband and I and my daughter, we moved. We left Colorado and we moved to Texas. And it was this big deal. And before we moved to Texas, I thought we were moving to Kentucky. And before we moved to Kentucky, I thought we were moving to Washington. Or, or like there were so many different things at play. There was no security in the situation. We had to fix up our house in order to sell it. And so money was just sinking into this house and then we had to sell it and then the appraisal fell through. like there was so much going on and I found myself in such a familiar position and maybe you can relate to this I found myself up in the middle of the night fearful worried oh my god that appraisal fell through what's going to happen we have a contract on this worried and I couldn't go to sleep and god forbid you know, I roll over at 2.30 in the morning because the first thing my mind puts right in front of me is that appraisal fell through. What are you going to do? Are you moving to Texas? Where are you going to live? You don't have a house yet. That mar that market is hot. You're not even... All this fear. And I knew it when it was happening. And I always wonder why, you know, why God? Why do you have to keep on making me demonstrate that I understand your principles, that I understand the principles? The reason God does that is because... I don't. And it's because I'm getting it wrong. And that was exhibited last year because at some point I lost my shiz. I lost it. I was, I freaked the F out and I had it. I was yelling at my archangels. I was like, you guys suck. Like, what are you doing? What are you taking a break? What's going on? So angry because things weren't working out. And I talk about this. This is my message. It's about manifestation. It's about high vibration and how vibration is key to manifestation. Like if you want good things, then you got to vibrate higher. And I know that to be true. That has been demonstrated in my life and I get the principles. So why is this going so catastrophically wrong? It was going wrong because I still had stuff around it. And I can tell you in short that that stuff is around worth. It's around fear of poverty. It's all, it's embedded in all kinds of psychology that my reaction to the situation mandated that I looked at. I had to look at what was going on inside of me because I was crazy. I was not a nice person to my husband. I hated absolutely everybody. I hated the appraiser. I was yelling at my realtor. I turned into a different person. That's exhibit A, Crystal, that you still have work to do. And it was the fear that also sent me that message and showed me that I had so much work to do. Fast forward one year to now. And if I thought last year was weird and awful and fearful and pressure filled, well, this year times that by a hundred. But I have to say, 
I'm going into this situation with new eyes because I get it. I know what God is doing. I've been here. It's not my first rodeo. Perhaps you've noticed as soon as you celebrate a beautiful high, two months later, something happens. You got to go. That's part of the process. I know how this works. Nonetheless, there is this peace inside of me because I'm accepting on a deeper level because I have space to because I cleared patterns. I am accepting on a deeper level the rhythm of the universe. And I accept that our higher self, our God self, and indeed God teaches us and allows us to experience at a higher level. Our God self gets to experience itself through our pain, through our love, through our fear. All of these, while they hurt and they're hard for us to move through here in this dimension, in this life, these things are incredibly beneficial to our higher self, the totality of who it is that we are that seeks to experience itself through various incarnations. And this life you're living is just one of those. That's why you have hard times, my friend. It's because your higher self experiences itself through that. And so accept that. And I've done a lot of work around this. Like, word. Take my word for it. And I'm sure I'm not done. And it's almost like, you know, as soon as I say that, <laughs> really? Something new? But look, for a while leading up to this season in my life, I was starting to get fearful again. I was waking up at 2.30 in the morning and the first thing my mind gave, gave to me was a fear around the situation that I am presently in and I would not be able to go to bed and so I was losing sleep. Insomniac, not eating or eating too much, a little bit too much wine, etc. Like it was starting to express out in my life. And I was getting caught up again in the snowball of fear. But at some point, and it was really maybe six weeks ago, I was just like, dude, I'm not going to, I'm not, it's not worth it. I'm not going to do it. It never ends up being the worst case scenario. And maybe someday it might, and I'll deal with it when it does, but it never does. I'm always freaking out. And then there's the miracle. And then there's the loosening, or then the way is made clear. Why did you freak out in the first place? You knew that was coming. And so here I am in this summer of my life this season, and it looks nuts. <laughs> the outlook is quite interesting, according to weather.com, about my life, but I have a peace about it. It's so cool. I'm not afraid. I woke up this morning, and I was like, oh, I'm going to just get a couple more hours because I'm tired. I'm not worried about it. I trust. I understand how my angels work. I understand the rhythm of the universe. I understand why my soul, my spirit needs to do this. And I trust the process. And I know that the entire universe conspires, conspires and organizes and plans ways to help me to succeed unless I get in my own way. And that's what I did last year, like times a million. I got in my own way and I made everybody suffer because I can get crazy. Okay. I can get crazy. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not doing it. If God wants to hurl me into a cyclone, cool. Let's do it. How can I use it? How can I use this to help somebody else? Like, let's get into it. All right. I'm in it. That's different. And along with that, this acceptance, this bravery, not that I'm like a brave warrior, but like a bravery comes along with accepting what is. And how can I use it? How can I love other people through this? Like, what can I do? Wow. I think I've just matured a little and I am 48 years old. <laughs> I've been in, I've been in religion and spirituality since I was 13. Well, since I was a toddler, I've been like, and I'm only now figuring out that you don't have to fear. You really don't have to fear. And this is so important for you to understand because this world is loco. What's happening in America, just as one example, is crazy politically, economically, with our food supply. Like we could go in and in and in and we could get really afraid because what's happening? We're going off the rails on a crazy train. It's easy to feel that way, but go beyond that. Understand that the universe conspires, spends a lot of time organizing, planning, getting things in place so that you will succeed. You will be loved. You will be supported. You're the one getting in your own way. 
You're the one clinging to fear when really you have to take the step off the cliff in order to fly. I don't want to be premature. Let me get my crystal. She's always a support. <laughs> I don't want to be premature and say I, I've flown through it because I, I, I already know that's not how it works. But I will say I'm a little proud of myself. I will say if I can do it with my crazy life, then I know no matter what you're afraid of, you can do it too. I know that.